today we're going to do a review on a 2014 BRZ. So, Travis, you want to tell me a little bit about the car? Yeah, uh, shit. Has a Tesudo header. Uh huh. He has Tesudo headers, MXP cat back exhaust. Okay. He also has a cat delete. Really? Uh, yeah. Can you see the hood? Uh, yeah. It's under the hood? Also has an engine. Oh, yeah, He's I didn't know that. up, how to say it. Oh, a little intake. And. Shit, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's Boston wheels, right? And, yeah. Sick ass, sick ass wheels. Yep. DC coils? Yep. Nice, nice. All the tires are fucking different? Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty so, normal, right? Yeah, except the back, too. Look at that badass exhaust. Look at this. Look at this. Fist. It's fistable. But yeah. It's a pretty nice car, rolled around. Oh, I got the bird shit on it's it. It's not bad. Yeah. Let me take a ride in a little bit, so stay tuned. Hold on. Alright. Alright, guys. So, we're in the car right now. This smart guy is going to do a burnout or something. Are you all right, ready? No, I'm just. Punch it. Alright, go. It wasn't like fucking catching or some shit. That, that's fucking weird. Ah! My fucking keys! Rip transmission. It's okay. So yeah, you bought it for how much? How much you paid for this thing? Uh, 15.5. 15.5? Or 14.5. 14.5. Yeah, you paid fourteen five. It was built. Not, I mean, not kind of. No, you it's, not, it's not that. done. It's not done. So it's not built. Okay, so here's the story. He bought it from this guy, who like he, he just needed the money. He, he needed the money. He kind of owed some shit. So he spent like freaking four, what a lot of money into this thing, right? Dude, yeah. Wow, nice e brake guy. So uh, he, he put a lot of money into this, and uh, damn, how much? He put a lot, like. Six, seven grand in this thing? Pretty much, right? I, I mean, it's just the exhaust, the headers. And, um... The coilovers. Yeah. The rims. Mm. And... That's about it. But, overall, this car... You paid fourteen five, and he put everything on it, pretty much. It's not done yet. Yeah. You get a turbo in the future. You want to turbo it? Oh, yeah. Or supercharge it? Like no, the TJ Hunt thing? No, I'm TJ Hunt. TJ Cunt? TJ Cunt. No offense. I'm, I'm kidding. kidding. I'm kidding. The so, videos yeah. are okay. Yeah, they're alright. But, um, yeah. I mean, it's not a bad car. I like the car. It's a good car. I did like a mini review because he really doesn't know what the fuck he has. But it's a nice car. I love it. He loves it. Yeah. And yeah. And this is going to rock the Aegis Garage sticker on this thing. Yeah. yeah. Don't. I, I told you I liked the other sticker better than <laughs> It's okay. We're still—he's still debating on what sticker he wants. So yeah, this is the first part of the review, and now the second part with the Celica's coming up. So I hope you guys like this one, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Right, so we got Alex. All right, Alex, tell me about the car. So this is a 2004 Toyota Celica GTS, oh, six-speed. Yeah. Um, this was kind of a pony car when I got it. Uh, I got it pretty much stock as of now. It's got a redline exhaust and engine intake, um, Pioneer head unit and JBL sound system all around, upgraded JBLs. When you got this car, how bad was it, the condition of it? It was actually pretty mint. Uh, I, actually, it, it was mint cosmetically, but I could tell Eraser owned it because this is painted with house paint. <laughs> all of this is house paint and my hood scoop, it's blue now, but if you look at it really well, you can see that there's Your a color scoop. difference. Oh, because Jesus. this was also painted black with house paint. Oh my God. You can see the color shift. So uh, you're trying to tell me a 16 year old had Probably a Probably younger. I'd say like 9, 10. There was also Idiot. carbon fiber stickers on my <laughs> instrument panel. That gay ass shit, um, e-brake knob and carbon fiber accessories. That looks like a, a anal device. Almost. Almost. It's um, 
The GTSs came with leather. I swapped them to cloth because I used to park in a big ass parking lot you with used to bring your freshly bikes. repaved tarp. Yeah. So, um, going back to the picnic table. To the picnic table. It's got. It came with a stock body. I put the TRD wing, um, rear diffuser, and side skirts. I'm looking for a front bumper. Hit me up if you know one. All right. Cool. In good condition. Okay. And TYC tails. That's about it as far as mods go. Um, so, well, got, got roto wheels if I haven't mentioned that yet. Typical. Yeah. Yes, typical, typical four man wheels. Yes, yes. And like I said, that's about it as far as mods go. My plans are to lower it and do some head work. I've got uh, ready to go in stage three cams, titanium springs and valve and retainers, and uh, st stainless steel valves. Damn. Can't wait for that to go in. That's pretty good. So you ready to take it for a ride? Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, guys. So we're back, and he's about to do a test pull. Ivan's question for me is, what does VVTLI mean as opposed to VVTI? Yeah, what does that mean? The L means lift, and uh, keep a good ear on the exhaust. Hell yeah. Those, the rest of the things that you have to do to this thing is going to be pretty yeah. fast. It really hauls ass right now. But, uh, that kick, once I get over 6,000 RPM, when you hear the exhaust change, yeah. it's the valves opening up wider than usual. That's what lift stands for. It's pretty bad. Cam ass. lift. Sounds pretty good, though. Jesus. You fucking red bang the shit out of this, don't you? Yeah. It'll take it. Stock blocks will rev to nine with a tune, and uh, upgraded heads like what I'm going to do with mine, my goal is ten. <laughs> How much power do you think you're running right now? Uh, right now, it's crossing around 200 under. Um, so my goal with the build is maybe 230, 250 wheel. Oh, man. So, it feels pretty good though. Oh, it's yeah. really torquey for an engine. For this engine, what 1. kind of 8 engine? 1.8 liter. 1.8 liter 2ZZ yeah. GE. For reference, that's the same motor that Lotus decided to use in the Elise. Well, there you go, you got an Elise motor. Not bad, it's a poor man's Elise, pretty much. If if you think about it, a front wheel drive poor man's Elise. So, yeah. The Elise, what they did was they took the engine and transmission and did this with it. Yeah. They, they knew what they were doing, though, because they turned pretty good. But, yeah. This is my review for these two. I mean, this is my first review, so it's kind of bad, I think. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you guys are subscribed, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace.